Welcome back to another online drummer.com drum lesson. I'm Nate Brown. In this drum lesson, we're going to focus on the single bass pedal workout. And you need the sheet music for this single bass pedal workout. You can get that at online drummer.com and the link below. I receive a lot of questions about how to separate the hi-hat strokes with the bass strokes when you're playing sixteenths. So in other words, uh, when you have to do something like this. A lot of people struggle with that and, and you want to hit the hi-hat with it. And of course the answer to how to fix that problem is uh, through practice and repetition. But it's always helpful to know what to practice, so that's what this sheet does. These are exercises for building that coordination. And if you haven't already, you can check out my book, Chart Topping Drum Beats 1. And this includes a bunch of those coordination exercises for building uh, 16th note phrasing on the bass. All right, we'll start with number one. This is written in quarter notes and eighth notes just to get you started. Number one is one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. And number two adds the snare stroke. One, two, and three, four, and one. Number three moves those two bass strokes to a different placement. And even though it's the same thing, two bass strokes, just because they're in a different place, sometimes it makes it a lot harder to play, and other times uh, it makes it seem easier. Number three. And then number four adds the snare. Number five is another common placement. Number six adds the snare drum. Seven, yet another placement. And eight. Number nine isn't two bass strokes, but these bass strokes fall in between the hi-hat strokes. And this is an area of difficulty for a lot of people as well. One and a, that one and a two. A lot of times people want to hit the hi-hat with that one and a two. So number nine, one, two. And then 10 adds the snare. Number 11 writes out the hi-hat strokes like eighth notes as you would normally see them. But the technique, the pattern that you're playing in this one is actually the same as number one. It's just written as eighth notes and sixteenth notes. So those two bases there, same as in number one. One and the two and three and the four and one and the two and three and the and 12 is the same as you see in numbers 3 and 4. Thirteen is the same as in 5 and 6. Fourteen is the same as 7 and 8. And of course 15 is the same as 9 and 10. And 16 is just a fun exploration where we're mixing these things together. Remember that repetition is important, so you want to practice these exercises often. I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. We kind of took a step back and went back to some of the, the basics. And remember, there are many more coordination exercises in my book, Chart Topping Drum Beats 1, and help keep things interesting. Check online drummer.com on Wednesday for Patrick Marsapoil's lesson. And then Thursday, we'll have a lesson with Alex Ribchester. And of course, all kinds of sheet music updates throughout the week and videos. Keep drumming.